Hello guys, welcome to today's video from Finop Consults. We are going to talk about the VAT computation uh, for the 6% but withheld by your customers as for the new enforcement by the Uganda Revenue Authority for, for the designated companies to withhold 6% of the VAT which they have to pay back to URA. Uh, on our screen we have Finop Consults invoice as you can see it briefly um you can see consultant service for the month of december 16 million 520 uh the subtotal you can sum it you see that the vat 18 percent by default is 2 million and the total amount is 19 million that's how our invoice has been oh wait that's how we have been creating our invoices by default and even if risk will still be given invoice of that nature which you share to your customers now, for the customers who are designated withholding, designated VAT withholding, uh, they will remove 6% of your total 18%. Uh, this does not mean that they're going to remove 6% of this figure. No. Because if you do 6% of this, you have, you have 178. This is not right. I've seen uh, a lot of people have been computing this VAT this way, but this is not right. Because if this is 6% of 2.9, meaning there is a balance of 94% and not 12%, the right computation is the VAT withhold would be the subtotal amount times 0 0.06, which is the 6%, which gives you 991,200 kilos. So in most cases, you're going to find that the amount paid to your bank by your customer, in this case, it would be 18.5 million. Why? Because they'll be deducting, they'll be deducting the 6%, which is the total invoice amount, 19 million, minus the 6% of the subtotal amount, because that comes from the subtotal amount, meaning by default, you remain with 12%. But in your return, you have to include 18% and there's a section where you can include the 6% withheld from you by your customer. I also in my, in my also in our previous video I had to show you how to generate or to view all your customers that have withheld from you 6% uh, of VAT withholding. You can check out that video, it's available uh, for more details. And then um, so the customer will pay a total of 18.5. This is the right computation of VAT withheld. So watch out on this to avoid mistakes and uh, to avoid looking like you don't understand the law. So I, for more details, you can search on the URA page for more information about this. But 6% uh, is not coming from the 18% itself. This is wrong and I'll delete it from my page. And the right computation, the VAT withheld will always be the 6% of the 16.520, meaning you're left with 12% of this, uh, 0.12. So this is what you're left with. If you add the two together, if you add those two together, you see that if you add the 6% that the customer is withholding and the 12%, you actually get back to that figure. You actually get back to the other figure. So this is 12%, which you remain with. So this is the right computation. Thank you guys for watching this, this video. Continue to subscribe and like our videos. Share them to those who really need this information. Thank you.